And good evening, my lovely Lost Tales, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my Friday night fantasy stream. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, my lovelies. We still have emote-only chat going for just a few more minutes, so let's keep those good vibes going. <laughs> Oh, my lovelies, how are you? Uh, answer that when uh, emote chat is disabled and you can type again. <laughs> I am doing wonderfully. Uh, if you didn't see on my socials earlier today, I have officially announced that I am now a mocap actor as well as a voice actor. I did my very first mocap uh, session this morning at a wonderful studio for a very cool project and I had such an incredible time. Honestly, it feels like recently I've, even though things have been so turbulent in a lot of ways this year with being made redundant at the start of the year and just having to hit the ground running as a voice actor and really like putting my heart and soul into my career, it really feels like things are starting to like inch towards taking off bit by bit and this is something I've dreamed of doing for so long is being a full-time mocap artist and a voice actor so today was incredible and I couldn't have done it without you my lovelies I couldn't have done it without your support Weave of Passion thank you so much for the 25 bits congrats on becoming a mocap actor Stephanie one uh, you're one step closer to greatness. Absolutely. Thank you so very much, Weaver. And a big thank you as well to Samuel for your 48-month resub for four full years now of absolutely incredible support. Thank you so much, Sam. You're amazing. Thank you. Ah, alrighty, so we have uh, come to the end of Emote Only Chat. Thank you so much for requesting that, um, lovely Nanya. Let's turn that off and you can talk. Once more, my lovelies, give me your sagely wisdom. <laughs> oh, my lovelies, how are you doing? How has your week been? It's Friday, it's almost the weekend, and you're choosing to spend your, some of your Friday with me. I'm touched. Truly, I'm touched. <laughs> Steffi, Steffi, you're glowing. No, you're glowing, Vince. You're glowing, Vince. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the white balance, because I have a... It's still very bright outside where I am. It's still very bright outside where I am. So we have to wait until nightfall for the white balance to finally fucking kick in. <laughs> and hello, my lovelies. How's it going? Uh, also, um, I did record the, vo uh, the, the stream that we did on uh, Wednesday, which was my six hour Dead by Daylight stream. Normally, I don't upload my Dead by Daylight streams, but because this is a special occasion, um, I'll just check with everyone else that is involved that they're okay with me putting it on my VOD channel. Um, but it might be going up on my VOD channel, I just need to check that everyone's cool with it first. Uh, first and foremost. Scarlet, how's it going, sweetie? Thank you so much for joining us tonight. How are you, darling? feel like I should have some special words for four years, but I can't think of anything. It's all good, Sam. You are a exquisite poet. I'm sure the words will come to you when they, uh, when they can. <laughs> you know you always have my approval. I know, I know, but I want to just make sure I get everyone's consent before posting stuff that other people are involved in. Like, it's just the general etiquette as, um... Uh, public figures. Like, I always check everyone's okay before I post, like, a group picture or sharing something that we didn't initially agree upon and stuff like that. So I just want to check that everyone is cool and it's all good vibes and everything like that. <laughs> oh, but my lovelies, I hope you're all doing something nice for yourself this weekend. You know what? I've got um, my, uh, the, my next ASMR tale coming out tomorrow night that I'm excited about. Um, so there's that, but honestly, I'm gonna probably just take the rest of tomorrow off to just relax probably play some video games and just chill because it's been very hot over here in the UK. I'm quite wiped out from today's session. It was really, really good. Um, it's just me being an idiot and I was wearing a leather jacket and mostly all black while out in the UK heat at the moment and walking around central London for quite a while. Um, uh, doing a little like self-care treat day after uh, my amazing session at the studio so I'm quite worn out so we're just gonna play by ear tonight but I really want to get like sink our teeth into into uh, act 3 of Baldur's Gate 3 so hell yes 
But still, Steph, glue the human skin back on. Don't want your secret to leak out. Shh. But my hair is so full of secrets. That's why it's so big. That's why it's so big. It's full of secrets. Is this hair touching ASMR doing anything for you guys? <laughs> My niece gave birth to my great nephew last week, so now I have a great niece and nephew now. That's fantastic, Spirit Wolf! Congratulations to your niece! Oh, that's amazing! To your niece and their partner, and I really, really hope that their uh, little baby grows up big and strong. Amazing. I had to move some stuff out of the house for my parents this morning, so I'm kind of sore from that. But other than that, I'm excited to see more of Steph's streams. Hell yes! Thank you so much, Weaver! And no rest for the wicked and wonderful. Correct. Correct. And I will continue to be wicked and wonderful until they eventually smite me. <laughs> but how else do immortal antediluvian beings dress? We dress in our comfiest funeral wear. <laughs> like the outfits that you want to be buried in, that's just our look 24-7. Hell yes. Mm -mm. Cool, cool. Um... But, of course, I can't give details on what the project was that I was involved in. Um, but the only thing I can maybe say that I had to do... Like, of course, I can't say give specifics. But I had to scream and shout a lot. And that was actually something I was quite nervous about. Because a lot of the stuff that I... Uh, that I'm involved in or that I get booked for, it's either like, lovely bright commercial stuff, hey guys, what do you think of this new insurance policy from this company? Like, it's all nice, bright, smiling, nice and even, um, or the character work that I do, it's usually for like my own YouTube channel or uh, it's me role-playing my character on, uh, on my streams and stuff like that, S or... Also, I would say also, like, the audiobook stuff as well, I would say. Um, but with this, it was a lot of screaming and a lot of shouting, and... I was nervous because... I- I- when I get angry, I don't scream. I- I don't shout. Like, if I'm- if I'm scared, then I'll, like, sc scream and lash out and everything like that. Or if I'm in stage combat, I'll vocalize it as best I can. But I think it's that social awareness that, you know, intuitively, a lot of us don't feel comfortable like screaming on command because it's just such a visceral reaction um but i i practiced a little bit beforehand when i was warming up my voice this morning and when i got into the booth i was just in the zone i was i was so on it and i was so proud of myself and honestly the whole team that i worked with they were wonderful just so much positive energy like i could not have asked for a better team to work with uh for my first um uh, mocap session so I I literally cannot wait to do more I cannot wait to do more and um, later next month I'm actually doing my first ever mocap workshop uh, that'll be over the course of two days uh, towards the end of August and I'm so excited about that because then I'll get to do some full body performance capture stuff and I love doing performance capture stuff and it's it's I just I'm just real happy I'm just real happy you guys I had such a good day today <laughs> Stephanie's talked to you about your car's extended warranty. Yes, indeed, I do. Um, <laughs> when's the last time you checked the oil in your car? Screaming takes a lot of practice, especially for VAs. Exactly, and, like, you need to be able to scream... It sounds weird. You have to be able to scream safely because you have to scream over and over and over and over again. Like, it might be too shrill or not long enough or it's too like guttural or they have to, it has to be more of like a shriek rather than a scream so you really have to take care of your voice like I do a good amount of prep beforehand um before going into the studio just to try and get my voice in best shape possible um and it, it I'm really really proud of how it came out hell yes I must be an oddball. I love screaming rolls and monster rolls honestly Vince I love doing it too it's just something that I'm not usually cast in uh, if that makes sense. I'm really hoping that I get to do more character work and, like, creature work in the future. Don't get me wrong. Um, but at the moment, like, I'm I'm perfectly happy and very thankful for all the work that I've currently been able to do. But but I want to do some something angrier. Something with a little bit more rat in it. <laughs> do, do, do. 
And you are serving Lux girl. Look at her effortlessly slaying gods. I this is this is just the way I am. <laughs> what is this safely? My voice endures a lot more punishment and higher register roles than Deeb or Shouty work. Vince, you gotta take care of your voice. If you're not gonna do it for yourself, do it for me, okay? Take care of your voice. Your voice acting friends are worried about you. And they want you to, to take care of your voice. God damn it. <sighs> oh, but I was I was trying to think, okay, what did we get up to last time? Last, last time on Baldur's Gate 3. Um, we got to Act 3. Uh, Oren was sassy to us twice. And we were just about to step into the carnival, I think. Now, I was thinking, like, okay, what was in the carnival? And then I was thinking, wait, I don't think we really, like, it, and to me at least, it doesn't make narrative sense for Rosamond to maybe go up to the nymph, if you remember what the scene is like with the nymph, um, because she hasn't really grown romantically close to anyone. She's flirted with a Starian and that seems to be hot and cold at the best of times. Things have picked up with Minthara quite a bit and they've actually kissed, so good for her. Um, and then things were interesting in the last conversation with the Emperor, so I'm not sure if we can drag his ass down from the prism and just be like, hey, hey, do you want to test the, test the strength of our relationship? <laughs> Please? Please? Captain Australia wants me to take better care of myself while she drops three gates on <laughs> Boulder. You take care of yourself, god damn it. Or I'll, cut, or I'll bully you into taking care of yourself like Scarlet bullies me. Oh, but I also want to say thank you. Speaking of Scarlet, speaking of Scarlet bullying me, uh, I want to say thank you to everyone who tuned into uh, my Wednesday stream where we played uh, six hours of um, Dead by Daylight. It was so much fun, and everyone seemed to have a good time. I checked in with everyone uh, in our group chat afterwards, and everyone was just like, hell yes, I had an awesome time, and that made my heart really, really happy. Um, so I just want to say thank you to everyone who checked uh, that out as well. It was, it really did mean a lot that you guys uh, decided to come hang out with us, hang out with us for like, some of you were there from the start, and you stuck with us for the full six hours, so thank you for that, it's much appreciated. <laughs> Alrighty, so, uh, how are we doing for time? Do you want to jump into some Baldur's Gate 3? Because I certainly do. Because I've been making some adjustments to Rosamond. Because she's got a special tadpole in her head. And she needs to look a little more messed up now that we're in Act 3. Do, do, do. Okay, so we're all good to go. Let me just check everything is doing. Everything that it should. Okay. Let us jump in to the next chapter of Baldur's Gate 3. Okie dokie lokie. So? Why don't we head back to uh, Dover, where we need to go, which is the carnival. So we kind of got like our main group lineup is uh, Rosamond and Minthara for healing, Astarian for stabby stabby, and uh, Minthara for just piling on radiant damage, and Lazel for just smacking the shit out of everything. Carnival time! Let's get going. Also, I need to find some red dye because Rosamond got new armor. I tried it out with the Drake dye that um, was used to dye this outfit that she's currently wearing. It didn't look as good on uh, the elven chain, so... Oh, you'll have to wait until you see her in a cutscene before you see what I've done to her face. Like, there's no hiding the monster she's become now. The circus of the last days has returned. See Dryad's Gin and Dribbles the Clown back with a new act. Hmm. 
Okay, you can see a little bit of it here. We'll wait until you see her up close. Uh, detect thoughts? I want to know everything. Boo. Fine. There we go, that's better. I'd like to see your face paints. Mm. Oh, perfect. Do you also have... Uh, okay, you've got black and azure dye for a starion. Perfect, I'll get that. Oop. Switch it to barter. Purple dye, yellow dye. Dye, dye, dye. Uh, the custard and pink rose dye. Oh, that's not it. Where is it? No, it was black and azure. I was, um, it needs to be black and red. Damn it. Face painting kit. Ooh. Let's get one of those for funsies. Can I sell anything actually? Zeno, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you so, so much. And Thornlock, thank you so much. The, you've reset up for three months in, at, at once. Thank you so, so much. Back at it again, folks. Also, just wanted to say thank you guys who kept me in your thoughts. I have an interview this Monday. That's fantastic, Thornlock. Congratulations. I really, really hope you get it. I really, really hope it works out. And thank you so, so much for the resub. It's amazing. I appreciate it. And thank you so much, Mockingjay. I appreciate it. I Today's been insane, but it's been so much fun. <laughs> Oh, great, Jin. What can you do? Approach! Ugly one! Excuse you? I take great offense to that. I spent a lot, a long time editing up Rosamond's face because you might be able to see it just a little bit better. Uh, I, of course, had to give her my kind of signature plum lipstick and add some more darkness around her eyes just to make her look so much more messed up. Hmm. Oh, thank you so much for the 100 bits, Zeno. Thank you. Incredible. I know a good set of pipes when I hear them, and you have them. Yes. Behold. Akabi's wheel of wonders. Spin. To win prizes beyond your tiny imagination. And make your miserable life more bearable. Okay, that seems to be a star in shoulder that's getting in the way. Uh, what kind of things can I win? Akabi has traveled across the plains, burning and conquering all. Win the spoils of such conquest. Or, if luck smiles upon you, win the grand prize, the jackpot. Hmm. You know what? Just for funsies. Let us see if you have luck's favor. Can I cheat? Damn it! Fail the perception check. Alas! No jackpot for you, ugly one. But you may have this. Thanks. I guess. You are welcome, putrid one. Return again to try a new. Combat hand axe. Okay, that's pretty good. I think we'll give that to, um, uh, Karlak. She's good with those kind of weapons. Oh, they got some good shit. Oh, I wonder, can I, as a bard, can I join in on this performance? Or distract them from their performance? I just want to quick save beforehand in case I fuck up.
Okay, we're actually in harmony with each other. Hell yes. Also, yes, a hype train is very close. It's just around the corner. So if you want to renew your subs, uh, subs this is a perfect time to do so. Okay, that's enough merriment for now. Let's keep going. creations or commission a statue in your likeness it is our most sought after service okay now you can see rosamond more up close look at her look how fucking horrifying she is she is a monster i love her let's see what you have oh you shall be thrilled and delighted i know it do you have anything good? That's a question. Flesh of stone. Oh, do I have anything to sell, actually? I could sell the Blade of Oppressed Souls. I'm not using that at all. Hang on. That needs to go back to camp. Mm. No, I think we're good for now. Nothing caught your eye? I shan't tell my wife. She'd be most upset. Okay, I think we're good. I I'm not sure if I want a statue of her in camp. <gasps> One of my favorite characters! Hi, Papa! I missed you! Oh, oh! Hungry little hobgoblin. <gasps> Want a treato? I love Kobold so much. I have lots of treatos. And magics and junks I finds. Uh, don't worry. I only takes junks from dead people. Mm, I is nice. <laughs> Can we adopt him? Let me see what you have. I don't yes, care that they're from corpses. I has lots of stuff just for you. Look at him. Do you have healing potions actually? What's Rusty slaying? Um, Bloodlust, Cloud Giant Strength, Kill Giant Strength. Oh, that Elixir of Cloud Giant Strength. I might get that for Minthara. Because, fuck yes. Dark Displacement Gloves. You gain a plus one bonus to attack rolls when throwing. Okay, don't need that. I think we're good for everything else. Hmm gonna sell some of these other scrolls that we don't really need. Invisibility. I'll sell one of those. There we go. Bye bye now. Come back to Papa soon. I like you, you mischievous little scam. I'll go that direction just yet. Oh, Lucretius! I love her! Lucille! It's Pose, Grapevine, then Pivot Step. Jake, you have the grace of my great-grandmother's missing leg. Oh, and Boris. Boris! Put some sensuality into those lovely hip bones. I know you have it in you. Step it up. Your dress with all the jewels and everything like that is fucking fabulous and I want it. Sorry for interrupting. Interrupting a massacre? Merkel, help me! These three make the art of dance look like a ritual sacrifice. Call me Lucretius. Ringmaster, necromancer, Bringer of the night. Oh, 
and wine lover extraordinaire. Normally, I'd invite you into my tent for a lovely vintage, but these graceless skellies need my full attention. Enjoy my circus, darling. I think I will. So many delights. Oh. I want to talk to the Displacer Beast. Uh, do I have a Speak With Animals potion? Probably not. Probably already used it. Oh, Let's have a little chat anyway. Oh, baby. The beast ignores you. Her eyes locked on the crowd. Animal handling? Hey. You see a tidal wave of hate and violence in her eyes. Before she turns away, she will attack and kill at the first opportunity. Hell yes. Kill them all, kitty. Oh, who's a good girl? Here's a good girl. Oh, we're getting close to the fucking clown. He's bad. The creature is near rabid in his bloodlust. Let's examine this beautiful beast. Hmm. No, I want to hold on to my inspiration for important you can things. Tell only one thing. This beast will kill at the first opportunity. Okay. Before we uh, have a little uh, chat with the fucking clown, let's jump over here and speak with the nymph. Because I'm curious. Because uh, last time we did the clown interaction and then the nymph. So I'm curious if there's any difference. Probably not. Zathino, that's a name. The city of storm and steel is an endless scream in nature's womb. I have felt no peace here. Your eyes, Stira. There is pain, endless and deep, but also devotion, blazing like the sun. You're in love, are you not? You know what? I'm curious what Rosamond thinks love is. You are wise to admit it. When it comes to love, vulnerability is armor. Truth, a sword, and trust, a shield. I pray you wield all three, Stira. Bring the one you love to me. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal or doomed eternally. Because, yeah, now I have options for all three of them. Lazel, Astarian, and Minthara. We, we did Astarian last time, so I'm not going to do that. Because it also doesn't make sense that she would actually pick any of them because, yeah, she's kissed Minthara, but they're more like companions with benefits, so to speak. It, for Rosamond, I don't think she would feel love. So it's, it makes narrative sense that she wouldn't pick any of them. Like, she feels love, but it's a deeply kind of toxic kind of love, and she doesn't really feel like any kind of connection with anyone. <laughs> So yeah, honestly, if it is if it's alright with you guys, like I know you probably want to see what it's like with maybe Minthara. Um, but for me it makes no narrative sense. And I'm trying my best to approach my playthroughs of Baldur's Gate 3 from the point of like what makes narrative sense. Yeah, Rosamond's emotionally jaded, absolutely. Oh, I, I miss this. Hello. 
Buddy the dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is possible. Hey! Just give the word and I will kill the clown. <laughs> we would be praised as heroes. <laughs> Did you hear about the scarecrow who lost a fight? Yeah, I'm going to give away the punchline. Sure did. His opponent was really clutching at straws. Oh, hey! Looks like we've got a proper comedian in our midst. A starring approves everyone else hated that. I'll need someone with your wits for my next trick. Now, where are you? A bloodthirsty rush of fury engulfs you. You want to butcher the crowd, women and children alike, and soak in their innards. It is glorious. You, my special assistant, come on up. Oh, no, you know what? Before I picked Astarian because he needed a little humbling, Rosamond needs to be taken down a peg. She's now got her Slayer form, which is a fucking nightmare. I want her to go up on stage because she fucking deserves it. What are you going to do? <gasps> but he's been practicing day and night for this next trick. What kind of friend would I be if I spoiled his grand finale? <sighs> Fine. A round of applause for the stalwart heart. I do this for love. That's right, Rosamond. Get your ass up on stage. Look, you're even fucking dressed like a clown. <laughs> children that they're special, that each and every one of them is unique. Tell me, what makes you special? <sighs> the blood blessing that corrupts my skull. No, no, it's not that silly head of yours. You, my friend, are the most special person in the circus, in all of Baldur's Gate! Does anyone know why? Why? You're special, my friend, because I have a message just for you! Praise the Absolute. You sense something behind you. Instinct takes over. Oh, nice. So we actually get the drop on them a little bit. Okay. Or at least I don't get their first round of attacking. Ooh. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Sorry, and you get up a little bit closer. Very nice. Didn't get... Rosamond. Let's take care of that fucking dog. Nice. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Mm. Damn, they saved, that's fine. Yeah, I don't give a shit if he attacks, uh, citizens. I always knew I'd die at a circus. Really? That's really specific, like... A circus, really? Okay. It's like saying, like, I always imagined I'd die at a water park. Like, yeah, it's a possible thing, but... 
not really something that you kind of expect. Ooh. Ooh, that was not good for Minthara. Might yes, you can get all three of them. Perfect. Sunbeam. And a little bit of healing. Oh, come on. Good. I used the luck of the Far Realms to make that a crit. Very nice. Still breathing. Despite everything. Okay. Me. Let's see. Can I jump down here? And then get Spirit Guardians. Nice. Very nice. Nice. Dara, are you concentrating on anything? No, I don't believe you are. Let's try a, dis a divine smite on the kitty. I'm sorry. Damn it. Okay, fine. Time to strike. Listen, I do feel bad whenever we have to attack a uh, displacer beast because they're so cute. I love them. Aha! That was rude. Rude. As uh, yeah, greater healing on Thara. Okay, Starion. Nice. No choice but to keep going. And yeah, let's do mass cure wounds on everyone. Because I'm trying to take more long rests. There we go. Victory awaits. Nice. Yes. Smite? Yes, Searing Smite.
Nice. Come on. Almost there. A shapeshifter. What a pity. I thought we were killing a real clown. <laughs> Was that on your uh, bucket list, Astarian, perhaps? And look, only one person died. Take the face paint kit and the clown hammer. From we see it in you, the thirst, the art, the passion. The trail of cold, bloody murder you have left in your track needs only the finishing touches to grant you a place among his favoured. But he requires something truly magnificent. A circus has appeared, boasting a collection of misfits and ragtags, but more importantly, a stage. Now comes the performance of your lifetime, and when the curtain falls, the tribunal will be, will be watching. Hmm. What's inside? Hey, I saved the day. I'm a hero. You could say it. <laughs> they were clowning around. Absolutely. You fight good. Doppelganger. Not so good. <laughs> he. They should all be running. Yeah, sorry half of your circus performers are dead. Oh dear. Screaming children and oozing corpse and it's not even my birthday. I thought the absolute wouldn't dare set foot in my circus. To use such a woeful dribbles impersonator. Why it's downright rude. An impersonator? Are you sure? As much as I love a good murder, my customers don't. The real dribbles, charms animals and makes puns. Awful puns. Not this. Alas, I cannot afford to lose any more staff. Funerals are so very expensive. I need to move the circus. But I cannot leave just yet. Not without dribbles. He was a star. Customers of every color and creed simply adored him. I need him back, and I'll shower the person who finds him in love, adoration, and adequate compensation. What do you say? Dribbles is probably dead. Even better! Corpses are wonderful employees. They aren't picky about things like working from home <laughs> or eating. You know what? For that's fair. Oh, let's talk payment. I'm expensive. Huh. I can respect that. And you're in luck. Because I am old, darling. Ancient. I have seen stars explode and civilizations fall. Along the way, I happened across items of such power that would make you weep with awe. Find my dribbles. You won't be disappointed. Hmm. I'll look for dribbles. That's the spirit, darling. If we and happen remember, to find him. I look after those who make me happy. Mm hmm? Good luck, and thanks ever so much. If we happen to find him, then brilliant. Dribbles the clown, star of the circus is missing. Ringmaster Lucretius asked us to find him. He's likely dead, but that doesn't seem to bother her. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. the edge off. Okay, let's get out of here and let's actually see if we can start on this mystery that's happening in the temple because that is one of the ways to get into Baldur's Gate. Temple, 
The priests will open the temple up again. You will see. They're good people, holy people. So I let the Rumi for a loop because with her kind of cooler toned skin, face, and the blue eyes, that uh, reminded me a lot of Silesia. The crying one weeps today. Our father Logan is dead. Murdered. What happened? I... I don't want to talk. My heart is in mourning. Let's have a little chat around. We let more outsiders in and more Baldurians die. Duke Stelney, Father Lorcan, it's no coincidence. We have faith here, Bill. Faith in people, no matter where they're from. Who had more faith than Father Lorcan? How did that work out? Is there any victim more fitting than one who would forgive his own murderer? Exactly. Logan let a killer into our temple due to his misguided compassion. His faith got him murdered. Bill, I beg you, be quiet. Even sinners receive Ilmater's grace, and Father Lorgan knew that. We don't pick and choose who we aid. I'll leave you to it. I'm not going to get involved in that unless it's part of the investigation. Hello, Valeria. Look, Investigator. Rilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgore killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Shitey little elephant. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmater. Sounded like you were having quite the disagreement. You could certainly say that. Two people just died on temple grounds. Our high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. No murder story I've ever read has ended simply. I bet there's more afoot here. Feel free to look around the temple. But fair warning, the investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Where can I find the investigator? Charette's caress would be my best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. Can you tell me where to find Shira Clarwin? I can tell you where to find her, but she won't be very chatty, I'm afraid. Shira passed away last year. Peacefully, mine. We buried her in the crypt under the temple, if you wish to visit. Hi, Evermay. How's it going? Welcome. Any idea what I should be looking for? Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. Yeah, the blood drench look is typically the thing that we go for with my party. <laughs> I really hope you find something. For all our sakes. Oh, and mother, did I mistake you for Let's a see what sign this does. from God? Or are you really here to cast me on? I've said all I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. I'm investigating Logan's murder. What do you know? I know it's not fair, 
This was the best job I ever had. Lorgan was kinder than most. And now they're blaming a refugee for his death. Typical. Where are the bodies? We toss Brilgor out back. Sister Rose has Lorgan in the infirmary. Preparing him for a decent burial. You could pop your head in and pay your respects. Okay, let's go outside first. Hmm. I want to be sneaky. Always being in open view. Just like old times. Simple. Nice. I just just want to have a look to see if there might be anything of use. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, I forgot this is a temple. They take vows of poverty here. <sighs> Fine. Uh, a death will often cause, or in turn be caused by, an imbalance of suffering. On such occasion, a priest must commune with the spirit to see if they can address their imbalance. Please list your trained temple dead speakers below. Dead speakers of the Overhand Temple, Lashbearer, Katrin. Uh, Sister Clarwin and Father Lorgan. At the bottom of the page, there is a handwritten annotation. Apply for dead speaker training at earliest opportunity. Can't have none at the next temple inspection. Oh, interesting. This record, penned by Rector Yanis, consolidates uh, various sermons of Father Lorgan, high priest of the Open Hand Temple. Do not, brethren, mistake the wonders of gathered society for the decrees of those atop it. It is the duty of a faithful tormented. It is your duty to know when these decrees beget unjust suffering. It is not an easy duty. It is a duty that will scar your hands from carrying it, as well it, as it well should. We must at all times recall a central fact. To suffer is not holy. To suffer is a consequence of holy duty made practice. Ilmater, excuse me, Ilmater does not enjoy his pain, my friends. He endures it because it is just. Our own pain is an acceptable price to pay, but it is not a good in itself. Some may ask of you, if you are loved by your God, why does he allow you to suffer? Why does he allow anyone to suffer? The question is strong rhetoric, but it has an, ans it has an answer. One cannot be healed without first being hurt. One cannot truly know joy without knowing its absence. But to live a life full of absence, full of suffering, would be to know only one thing. We enact balance in the name of the Lord of the Rack, for it is right and it is just. Eh, Leviathan's more my vibe. <laughs> I really want to play like a cleric or a paladin of Leviathan. Cause that'd be fun. Uh, should be easy. Let's go out here. So I think it's out here that there's some other people, other things as well. Let's get going. The other thing is, I'm not sure if like you would have to play an evil character in order to worship the Vita. Oh no, this just takes us back to the circus. Never mind. There's a graveyard though around here, right? Yes, yes, there is. Let's go here then. Starion. Well, hello. <laughs> Easy. All right. What now? Here we go. I wonder if the gods are watching me. They are. They are watching you, Rosamond, and they are very disappointed. Okay, let's have a look at some of the tombstones. Curse to put my hands on everything. Brilgore. Fell to anger and rage, taking Father Lorgan with him. May ill mater forgive him. Perfect. Time to dig him up. Okay, Brilgor.
surely I can speak with dead on him. No. There we go. Yes, yes. Oh, she looks so good. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Yes, he's Brogor. So, how did you die? Pierce. Once. Paralyzed. Who killed you? Dwarf. Red clothes. Stranger. Where did you die? Tunnels beneath temple. Hidden from sight. How do I find these tunnels? Actually, no. We'll just look around and we'll eventually find the tunnels. Were you alone when you died? Father Lorgan. Helping me. Why was he helping you? This. After me. Needed to hide. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Okay, we've got a good amount of information though. Sorry about that, Brogor. Kinda had to do it though. Let's look at the other tombstones. Cause some of these are quite sweet. Geshan Kirkoros built the open hand temple, gave all in his name. We honor their life and legacy. B. Gardenson gave her life protecting fellow refugees. May the one who endures shelter her. Nalo Essi, grief and illness laid ruin, yet her heart held only compassion. The broken god be with her. Oh, that's pretty. You can see the boats coming in. Oh, that's so cool. Mikkel Hornkiss gave all to the lepers, fell to the malady himself. Oh. He is a beacon to us all. Dominic Sunny lost himself to addiction, but found peace in Il Mater. Aww. Oh, but that will fit in my pack. Take that. Okay, do we have to be sneaky when going in through here? Okay, no, this is just another way through. To get out here. Uh, let's have a quick look at these graves and then let's head back into the temple. Should mind my step. Do, do, do. Better not be cursed. Alvin Muffle Fieldwick gave his fortune to the poor, died in the arms of friends. He will be missed. Oh. Millie Runbarrel, killed by the cult of the absolute. May our martyred father shelter her. Unknown child and her dog, who stood watch over her grave. May they be reunited in Ilmater's grace. Now my heart hurts. Anytime it's a story that has like a pet lying by the grave of their uh, owner, and they're just they just don't move until the day that they eventually pass, just fucking breaks me. Very well. What ails you? Marsh fever? Feather lung? Be quick, I've not got all day. I'm looking into Lorgan's death. I need to ask you some questions. What do you want to know? Who do you think killed Father Lorgan? I reckon Investigator Valeria is right. Oh, fuck you. One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. 
I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Logan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. We give them everything, and all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. Uh, hmm. Father Logan, uh, are you feeling in a chatty mood? Yes. Wakey, wakey. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who killed you? Dwarf, dressed in red. Why did he kill you? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Mm. What were you doing when you died? Hiding Brilgorn from fists. Why were you hiding Brilgorn? Must protect innocence. Ilmater's will. <sighs> Where did you hide him? Took him to the tunnels with the rest. Oh, fool, fool. The spell's power went. Damn it. You can ask no more questions. Uh, come, Steinsdorf, thank you so much for the 66-month resub. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And it's been a while. I hope you're doing well. Okay, let's head back into the temple. And... Head down this way, perhaps. Keep looking around. Because then we can also do the quest with the amulet. On the Weary, Volume 1, Father Logan. A collection of Father Logan's writings on despondency. Perhaps the hardest suffering to ail is that which dulls, but does not pang. Weariness sits deep within one's soul, but it casts its miring net across the surface, dampening all errant thoughts and feelings in its wake. Malaise of this sort can rot the heart, if left to fester, but must be extricated carefully. Above all else, the weary soul knows itself better than you can. Do not condescend, do not assume, do not impose. Simply avail yourself as a tool to the weary. Let them know you can be used however they might need. Ah, oh, he was a genuinely good man. Yeah, it's gotta be a way through there somehow. Ooh. Watch your back. Astarian. All's well that ends. Oh, it's locked. Not as bad as it could have. Unlock that oh, for me, please. Thank you. Damn it. That's surprising. Very seldom happens. That's more like it. Ooh, lightning resistance. Very nice. Have to keep going. Oh. Thank you for the stretch check. Thank you. Okay, we found the secret door. 
Just the long way around. Okay. Let's follow the path of blood then. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Through the mountains. Okay. Let's see. They're quite close. Can I do... Arrow of Lightning. Nice. This is your end. Nice. Nice. Melee attacks. Enemies receive disadvantage on melee attacks against you. Let's do some evasive footwork. Nice. Okay, and now it's me! So you know what that means. It means spiritual guardian time. Light on my feet. Get all of you. I thirst for combat. Good for you. I am your death. Yes. Completely obliterate you in one hit. Oh, that was that was close. I was a, I was a little too close to the ledge there. Hmm. Good. Good thing I didn't fall off. Great. <sighs> nice try. Have to keep going. Nice. Let me strike. Nice, almost there. Flowery key. This key spattered with blood is inscribed with this address of Freya's flop house and Worms Crossing. Let's have a little look at the update. Found a strange flowery key on one of the doppelganger assassins under the open hand temple. Might open something above ground. We should investigate further. Actually feels nice to do this quest uh, because before it was it bugged out for us, which was really sad. A spirit dollar is talented. If a touch careless, the dagger he discarded lurks within these caves somewhere, though I know not where. I can smell it. The fear musk from his kills stand in the air after the act because he let them marinate first. They stand, lie, sit, stock still as the poison fills their limbs with lead, knowing only two perfect facts: they are going to die. There is nothing they can do about it. Something good here, I hope. Just Someone was more bodies. arranging these corpses. What for? They did a shit job of it. I could have done better. <gasps> a colourful torso, torn and butchered. Hello, dribbles. <laughs> well, we found half of a clown, I think, or a third of the clown. The effigy of uh, Elisera, who watched and waited. What do you? What use her eyes? She thought herself a huntress, but couldn't fathom her wool. Uh, below is an exaggerated signature written in blood or in the red. Aren! Sister in blood! 
How much further can I go? Were you up to some naughty things down here? What's that? Oh. What's in here? Oh, that's probably just a way you can sneak through if you're small and wild shape. Okay, we'll look through here. Let's keep looking. Okay. Ooh. I think these were the people Father Logan was trying to help. For all the good it did them. Hmm. This letter is written with the careful but erratic hand of a newly learned writer. Mum says I need to say thank you more. So thank you. Thank you for telling off that nasty woman who's shouting all those nasty things at me. That's three times I've wrote thank you now. Four. So I think Mum will be happy. One more thing. Did you see my teddy anywhere? I think I dropped it during all the shouting. Oh, poor kid. No, I'm playing Rosamond. I mean, ew, children. <laughs> Please, Father Logan, Rector Yanis, if any food to spare, our stomachs yowl at night like hick dogs. Carrots, apples, we'll even crunch an onion if that's all. If that's what you've got from Soldier Thaldron. Let's take that in case it could be used as evidence. Feel bad robbing these people. But they're dead, they're not gonna use their stuff. Scroll of Wall of Ice. Why didn't you try selling that? Could have made some coin off of that. But I won't speak ill of the dead, I guess. I think it's the dagger you need. Yes, it's probably down here somewhere. Or in that flowery locked chest that was described. Cloud kill. Do I have something that's resistant to poison? Necrotic resistance. We could need something with poison resistance. Elixirs. Nothing with poison resistance. Fire resistance. Diminution. Lightning resistance. Let's organize that again. Uh, what does pick my voice do? Uh, that is a um, feature where you can spend a chunk of your channel points uh, that you've accumulated over the course of watching my streams and then request that I perform the voice of a particular character from my ASMR tales or someone from media that I'm familiar with that you know I can do the voice for because sometimes people have requested voices and I've sadly had to decline them because I, I genuinely didn't know what voice they wanted. Always room for more. Holy shit, 30? Okay. You mean like that inquisitorial bitch? Um, I'm not sure who you're referring to, Zeno, but please don't refer to someone as a bitch. Unless they're, like, intentionally that kind of character. Yeah, I'm gonna load that again and give that another try. Like, Kalendra could be one, possibly, um, but her voice is very similar to other character voices that I've done, so it wouldn't be, like, a ton of difference between some of the other commanding sort of voices that I've done. Hmm. 
How do we get rid of cloud kill? Yeah, it's just more like, just try to be polite, Sino. I, I understand that she's like a complicated and rude character, but you don't need to bring that kind of language and hostility in regards to female characters in my chat, thank you. Blackets will be done. Hey, lovely Nia. Is there anyone here who's actually immune to poison? Ooh. Would you actually maybe be able to do this? Lazel. Let me try something. I'm certain there was something important down here. Old-fashioned meat. Trust me. It's fine, Zeno. Just don't do it in the future. Just as I expected. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. There we go. Okay, so we got some shinies, but not the dagger that we're looking for. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Looking Team ahead. murder. Need to find a way forward. I love that we're just pretty much like team murder by this point. But let's head back this way. Unless was there something down here we missed? Yeah, there's still stuff we need to do with the temple, so we won't leave just yet. Right. Time to see what new horrors waiting for us. We are the one. <laughs> we are the horrors of the night. We are the one who knocks. you healed up as well a little bit more. Without delay. Oops. No one stopped. The temple's crypt. This must be where they buried Shira Clawen. Now, which one was hers? More corpses. What's hiding here? Let's see. Can I talk to where's the amulet? Uh I think I have to equip it. One second. The amulet is heavy, but holds a subtle warmth, like it was left under the sun. Suddenly, the metal surges with heat. You feel great power and an overwhelming urge to laugh. Oh, that's an unsettling thought. Can thou endure? Yeah. Give in to the laughter. I want to see Rosamund lose it a bit. Flying machines. Walking brains. It's all so absurd. 
<laughs> oh, that's deeply unsettling. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like when she's happy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Look at her. She's a thing of nightmares. Alas, thou must do. <laughs> no, we started this quest, but I don't know why it reset. Maybe Return it's a bug. Me. I'm afraid your granddaughter has passed away. Oh, no, no. This cannot, must not, shall not be. <laughs> you must open her tomb in the open hand temple post haste. She may bless us even beyond the veil. <laughs> You feel a chuckle coming on, but it soon fades. Huh. Well, open up all the coffins. Uh, you're going to have a chat with your granddaughter? Hmm, maybe this bugged for me. One second. Very near crypt under the temple. Yeah, we're cracked. Open all these cold boys. Here lies Satida Atana, born 1411 DR. Here lies Rodolfo Quinn Bain, born 1486 DR. Yeah. Died 1491 DR. Here it is. Faithful to the crying God, long didst I wait, only to find thine empty flesh. Gone, thou might be, alas. <laughs> uh, you can do anything Here else? Lies sister there we go. Shira Clawen. Date of birth unknown. Died 1491 DR. Oh, 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 honored Shira. Mm. Her spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk. <laughs> Swear I did to shed this foul mania and bestow it upon Shira. She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's want. Who now shall bear the madness Shah has wrought on me, so I might no longer suffer? Oh, ho, 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 ho. shall it be thou? Uh, gods, no. I won't, don't want to inherit your curse. Oh, <laughs> well, if laugh I must, let our alliance end on a lark. Hey. Just let them get a couple of hits in before we devastate them. Okay, star in. Try and get as many of you as possible. There we go. And Starion, you're not doing so well, so let's give you a bit of healing. There we go. Yeah, he does kind of remind me of Imhotep of um, from the Mummy as well. Hell yes. Let's do, use to find sense. Nice. Nice. 
Nice. It's one down. Let's see. Let's give a star and some help with that. Uh anything that helps with I don't think I've got anything in particular that helps against undead, so let's just do some vicious mockery. I mean, that is the most accurate roast that you could have done, to be fair. Custodus discharge. I've oh, I've never heard that phrase before, but that is repulsive. <laughs> Fucker. Time to push my luck again. Use a precision die just to really put you in the ground. And yeah, let's action surge this as well. Because this might be the last fight we do for our long rest. Because then we can solve the murder and uh, then take a long rest. Is it weird that I make kind of little happy noises whenever I'm in combat? Unless it's like a super serious fight and then I'm just quiet and focusing super, super hard. But otherwise I'm just like, do, do, do. Happy combat. He eternally cursed my spirit be. I... No. Morning Lord, I call to thee. Lend your forbearance. No. No. <laughs> okay, chill. Bedroll in my near future. I hate it had to end like this. A torturous fate by any measure. My way. He deserved it though. He was a prick. <laughs> There are 999 happy haunts in this house, but there's always room for a thousand. Disney, please hire me to be a voice on the Haunted Mansion. Please. Please! Okay. Some pigeons. Do, do, do. We found a cruel and deliberately staged murder scene in Baldur's Gate. Could be the work of Oren. Where is... Strange, fl strange flowery key on one of the doppelganger assassins under the open hand temple. It might open something above ground. We should investigate further. Let's look at that key again if we can. Describe with the address of Freya's flop house in Worms Crossing. Okay, we're looking for Freya's flop house. Let's go for a little look around, shall we? Freya's flop house, where would that be? Oh, 
Because a flop house is somewhere quite grim. But I see that trail of blood. Uh, is that leading away or towards? Okay, that seems to be where the trail ends. Let's follow it this direction. <laughs> Trying to solve a murder here. But I also just want to follow the blood. Do. Oh, it's across the bridge. Okay, cool, cool, cool. In that case, let's continue looking around Worms Crossing Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting a little bit life. more. What path lies before me? Hey, you. Before you lies the unconscious body of a mind flayer, glistening and raw. A newborn. Unattended. How fortunate. No, I wanted to stab it. Take its take its brain worm. What? No, I've had so little time. Stabby stabby. Very nice work, Astarian. Another fight. Let's go. The creature was born recently. Its mind is still fresh. You can absorb its potential if you consume it. I'm gonna snort that shit. <laughs> Ring of Truthfulness, you gain an advantage on insight checks. Nice. Absolute Orders, newborn. Let's have a read. True Sold Alien, your time has come. The Absolute calls to all faithful, and you have been faithful indeed. Leave your barracks, leave your armor, leave all insignia of rank behind. You are part of the Flaming Fist no longer. You have been a loyal True Soul, but soon you will be so much more. You will be one of us. Light on my feet. What does that say? Final warning. This is a notice demanding that the miller pay off his debts, lest his creditors oust him and claim the mill from themselves. I'll give it a shot. Well, they're gonna have the corpse of a mind flare down here. Let's see if they still want that. But let's head down and explore this area that we haven't looked at yet. Oh my god, Zoro actually fucking made it all the way here. Amazing. We just walk past and uh, Lazel just goes Tick! Just like a little head check, just like, watch yourself, tiefling. Apparently you can survive. Interesting. That's an order. Donations. Looks like you've plenty already. You wouldn't be saying that if you'd seen this inventory. Or how many refugees we have here. If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. Okay, fine. 
Why come back to that? Because I just... I think I need to activate the thing for crossing the bridge because that's a side quest that I'm like, you know what, I'm happy to skip over that one. Just focus on the main story stuff. I haven't played Baldur's Gate 3 yet, but the Tieflings are becoming a favourite of mine. For good reason, Sean. The Tieflings are fucking great. Oh, thank you! I'm glad you like my... My okay impression of Lazelle. Like, I, I don't hold a candle to Deborah Wild, but she's so fucking good as Lazelle. Maybe I'll do an okay, like, impression of a Githy Yankee. Oh, You're so sweet, Sam. Thank you. Clear from arm. There's nowhere else to go. Please. Orders are orders. We've got ours, you've got yours. I need you to step back. There must be something. I need to get over that bridge, and you won't stand in my way. Halt! By orders of Lord Gortash, refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. I have urgent business in the city. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? Fine, I have the gold for it. I can take care of myself. Right. Article 30.1.5 of the Council's decree on extraordinary wartime measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. I'm gonna stab you. Your name? She's not afraid of fucking Gortash. My name is Rosamond. Well met, citizen. Your parasite stirs. From the construct, you feel connection, resonance. What in the hells is that thing? I am a steel watcher, citizen. Here to serve the people of Baldur's Gate in the name of Lord Enver Gortash. State your business. You know what, fuck it, I'll use deception. Baldur's Gate is the next stop on my favourite wide poetry tour. And murder spree. No one use friends. Hey! Aha! Uh -huh. Eyes open, body still. I'll stay still. Behind the Watcher's gaze, a presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Your party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare, as witnessed by the cult's ever alert prying eyes. Oh, I forgot it has about heard this. The howls of slaughtered goblins. It knows the cold walls of Moonrise Towers, and the cultists who fell there. The Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the absolute. Come quietly, or die. Okay, there's got to be another way to do this. Ready ourselves for a fight? Yeah. I fucked that up somehow. Okay. Yeah, let's reload. Because I messed that up. Okay. Just trying to remember how we did this before. I think... I think I remember we have to do something with the, um... The donations. And then we find fireworks in, in the donations, I think. And then we can blackmail someone into giving us a pass, I think. 
I, I remember this being quite tricky to get across the bridge safely if you had done bad things with the cult. What is about the well that's weird? One second. Hmm. Okay, interesting. That is a lot of murdered refugees. I don't think we've ever been down here. Hang on. Can I... Can I reach there? Like it's will be done. Oh, that's right. I can fucking fly. Forgot about that. Is that blood? No. Let's do that. Hell yes. Very well. Maybe I need more pockets. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. Oops. So I've got the special parasite that gives me the power of zoomies. You're sticking your immigration nose in where it doesn't belong. You got a brain in your head. You stay out of your filth. You stay in your filthy camp with the abs other absolute or vagrant scum. Your girl didn't get the memo. You really don't want to know what happened to her. Now scram. Well, that didn't end well for you, did it? Oh, what was that? That was about Baldurum. This book is packed full of tales of adventure. The monsters are ferocious, the men are muscled, the women are buxom, and the clothing is easily torn. Something is cleft in twain on every other page, although you do find a passage that's a little less bloody. Enjoy. The woman's eyes were dusky, filled with mystery and promise. Baldurum was intrigued. Anything? he asked. Anything, she said. Just name it, and it could be yours. And what do you want in return? Oh, just a small thing, she smiled. Baldrin laughed. Nothing about him was small. I want your soul, Baldrin, she sighed. Give me your spirit, and whatever you desire shall be yours. Baldrin considered this for a moment. Very well. I want a turnip. She hesitated. Your soul in exchange for a turnip. A nice turnip, nodded Baldurin. Very well. Dark smoke swirled around the woman, whose skin was turning red. Then you shall. The next couple of pages have been torn out. When the story resumes, the woman, now fully revealed as the devil, is kneeling at Baldurin's feet. Curse you, Baldurin. I am bound to you. Yours to call upon when you need me, and your soul is your own once more. Let that be a lesson to you, laughed Baldurin. Never underestimate the power of a turnip. I'm taking this fucking book. Because, yes, I need that for science. Anything particularly useful? Oops. I think that's everything. Alright then. Whee! Oh, this is gonna become addictive. Pretty soon I'll want to, like, do the special tadpole for all of my characters just so I can fly everywhere. Get out of there. Now, where was it? Let's go back to where the refugees are. Oh, 
Hmm. Back again, are you? If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. I'd like to take the no donation into the barn myself. Please. Nice. Well, if you must, I suppose it saves me the walk. But if you're gonna do it, hurry up. I think it was here. Come on, guys. Investigation checks, please. Careful, I might. I am listening. I lead the way. Is everyone going to fail this check? Reaction. Okay. Still in control. Just if everyone else minds their business. Can you please give me Ah wanna be so snap? What was that? Are you alright? <clears throat> as right as I can be after being next to a fire fiery explosion. What happened here? So it turns out those toy bears were explosive. What? Those are children's toys. W which means if a child had picked one up, I don't want to think about it. How do I know you're not the one who planted those explosives? Activate a toy and toss it to him. <laughs> I was sent by the council to check on your operation. Yeah, absolutely. I I'm a good person. Something was wrong in the barn. I wanted to make sure nobody got hurt. Take a look if you must. Okay. Yes, and then I think we go to the ledger and see who donated that. This is one where I'm kind of following from what I had to look up online because I remember we really struggled with getting across the bridge the first time. Uh, do, do, do. Stuffed toy bears, unusually waiter. It was Arthur Gregorio. And I think it was this guy that's up here. There we are. The house was empty. The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Denuvia! Get these squatters out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards. Thank you for Not cattle right. wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. Thank you, thank you. But that'll be extra. The army of the absolute is mere days away and you're bickering over property ownership. This is my home. I may pride myself on my philanthropy, but I draw the line at being a halfway house. This man's indignant demeanor barely masks a seething anxiety. There's more to this situation than he's letting on. Zenovia and I are just navigating a slight contractual disagreement. Not that it's any of your concern. You seem a little on edge. Are you alright? But wouldn't you be on edge if your beautiful home had been defiled by such brazen interlopers? How about you live and let live and I let you live in return? They can stay. Just don't blame me when they turn on you like the mongrels they are. There are 
respect your hustle, sweetheart, but it won't work on me. You've stepped on the guild's toes, and we'd like a little something to make it better. Is the little dog trying to intimidate us? If it continues to bark, I will snap its neck. I love you. The guild, a loose coalition unifying every criminal outfit in the city under one collective rule, from cut purses to contract killers. All right, I get it. How much do you want? Just a little something. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. I'm not paying you that much. That's pure extortion. Oh, you know, it's shocking how many people opt for the hard way when the easy way is right there. Any last words? I am the child of Lord Baal, this filthy city's eternal terror. Do you have any last words? Come on. Yeah! You're serious. Let's forget this unpleasantness ever happened. Good girl. Come on, boys. We've got places to be. Now, where is that guy fucked off to? Thank the gods. I was sure we were about to be I don't think the children could cope with being homeless again. What's that? Starion? Mind having a little look? A crooked touch. I know what I did, and I'm not apologizing for it. What to do? Oh, I might have messed up. I think you have to side with Arthur, because otherwise he just runs away. Let me just load the previous save for that. God, am I going to have to do all that all over again? Fine. It's fine. It is what it is. I, I hope you guys don't mind that I just jumped through uh, the conversations then. I should speak up. Back again, are you? If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. Uh, da, da, da. I need well. to blow up the bar. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe some one of us will actually succeed in the investigation check. Hey. Don't touch me. Hey, there we go. Can you please give me a hug? Bet your arms would be so snug. Who's that rummaging around in there? Show yourself. Okay, what you have two seconds to explain yourself before you're under arrest. I found a load of toy bears rigged to explode. But don't worry, I disarmed them. What? How do I know you're not the one who planted those explosives? Oh no, I forgot it's Lizel. Shit. Ah, uh, Bionic Inspiration? Hey! I had a feeling something was wrong in the barn. I wanted to make. Intestines throb. Blood whispers. I this assignment was going to be dull. Christine, let's be on my way. Okay. Do do do. Oops. 
Then it was Arthur Gregorio. Was empty. Get the Arthur, sweetheart, if you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. Tell me the absolute is mere days when you're bickering over property ownership. This is my home. Zenovia and I are just navigating a slight contractual disagreement. Not that it's any of your concern. I can make these squatters disappear for half as much as this lot are asking. You don't exactly look desperate for gold, but I can't help but admire such solid business acumen. Very well. Get the job done, and you'll be paid and be in my good graces. Do you think you're clever coming in and undercutting us, sweetheart? We were about to make a bit of extra- Is the little dog trying to intimidate us? If it continues to bark, I will snap its neck. You're welcome. <laughs> the Guild, a loose coalition unifying every criminal outfit in the city under one collective rule, from cut purses to contract killers. Gold is nothing to me. My only pleasure in life is blood, and I'll be having yours. Yeah. I think you're overestimating your abilities somewhat. But I haven't got time for this. Come on, boys. We've got places to be. I see those animals are out of the picture. Can we stay now? Or are you going to turn us next? This is private property. You need to leave or I'll make you. Get the fuck out. You're seriously gonna throw us out? Throw my child out? You're just as bad as the rest of them. Don't worry. We'll go. May Torm split open that hard, blackened heart of yours someday. See, you're saying this to Rosamond, who does not give a fuck. <laughs> That ends well, hey? Eh? I'm sure the guild will be in touch with any concerns. The squatters are gone. The house is all yours. At long last! Here's your payment, as we agreed. I've got so much to do now, I'd really better get on with it. Excuse me, would you? And does he go inside? Oh, nice. Okay, do we need to find evidence of the fireworks? Look, I really don't have time to chat. I'm sure you can find someone less busy to listen to somewhere. Okay. Maybe then we do have to go into the basement, find the evidence. Bloody squatters. I should put the house under the windows next time. Something over there. You don't see nothing. What now? We're just going to um over here. Help ourselves uh and investigate your place for you. Quick and quiet. I think we just had to make sure that he didn't run away. Let us send forth our least favorite, to be sure. Starion, you're up. Someone's left a trap out for us. Careful. A trap. Let us send forth our least favorite, to be sure. That's a lot of fireworks down here. Be 
Let us send forth our least favorite, to be sure. Man. Yeah, let's just disarm all the ones around here before I forget. Someone's left a trap out for us. There we go. So many fireworks. Let's disarm that as well, Starion. And lockpick that for me, please. Oh, thanks for the stretch check. Oh, I actually really needed that. Oh, I am sore from today. What to do? Blackmail letter. Arthur, a package still waiting for you at flo uh, Fellow Gears. Better not be late again. We'll start to wonder if you really are committed as you claim to be. Pick it up, put in the teddy bears, make the donation. It couldn't be simpler, really. If it's still here, uh, if it's still here this time tomorrow, we'll stuff you with it. As you all know, we've plenty to spare. It looks like our merchant friend's the one who's been putting explosives in teddy bears. Piece of shit. This is where the toys from the barn were crafted. What a wicked little workshop. Best be on my way. You almost sound delighted. Mi amor. Oh, I'll be taking that fire amber though. That's pretty. Okay, that's a slightly delayed uh, declaration that we used these tools, but that's okay. Let's slowly get out of here. Seems simple enough. Do do do. Oh, trying to get comfy again. Ah. What do we have here? Seems simple enough. Okay, quick save. Something's on my mind. You again. Did you need something? I found the toys you donated. Care to explain before everything blows up in your face? How do you... Whatever you think you know, I, I, I'm sure some gold would help you to forget. If I were after gold, I would have gutted you and taken it. Please don't! What do you want from me? It's not my fault. I was forced to do this. Framed even. They would have killed me if I refused to rig the toys. And they're definitely going to kill me now. Boo-hoo. <laughs> they? Who is they? I can't tell you. I won't tell you. Tell me who they are, or you'll be dead before they even get to you. Hey. All right, all right. Just don't hurt me. The teddy bears were an experiment. My greatest invention. A clever little device in their chest allows them to speak. But there's more. Smoke powder inside the device. I collect packages from Faloga's fireworks in the lower city and stuff the bears with it. Not because I want to. Because I have to. <laughs> Otherwise they'll kill me. I'm strongly considering killing you myself. Please don't. I'm not the villain here. You could put a stop to the whole operation. I don't know who's in charge, but it starts at the fireworks shop. That's where the packages come from. 
go there. Tell them Uncle Philogia sent you, and they'll show you the smoke powder. Lots of it. There. I told you what you wanted to know. Uh, now, will you let me go? His plea comes with an offering. A pass granting you access to the lower city. There we go. Thanks. But I'll need all your gold too. Here, take it. All of it. I don't care. You'll never see me again, I, I promise. Did I get a pass to the lower city? Hey, there we go. Another step forward. How much gold did we get from that? Probably a couple hundred or something. Alright, let's do a short, uh, a long rest. And then in the morning we can head across the bridge. Yeah, let's get to a position over on the bridge. There's no point arguing with the guards. Come on, team. Where are you? That can't be good news for the blacksmith. Oh my god. She fucking killed the blacksmith, didn't she? Aaron! What did you do, Aaron? Did you make a mess again? A note written in blood. The parchment is cheap and smells faintly of iron and smoke. How I soured and salted them, Smith, for you, and yet you dared not devour him. I will not let his bitter meat spoil, not when Baal could savour it. Thanks, Oren. You could have wrapped it up with a bow. <laughs> Okay, let's do a long rest. Hi, Yenna. What's up? I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna make something really good. I promise. Good for you, kid. Does anyone want to talk to me? Let's jump around sh uh, uh, the camp and talk to people. Our girl is nothing if not loyal. I just hope it doesn't come back to bite her in the ass. Being loyal to the wrong person can do that sometimes. Yeah, let's. Why don't we, why don't we talk to a couple of people? I'm also thinking after we maybe have a chat to everyone in camp and we finish our long rest, I might call at the end of the night just because I'm quite worn out. To be perfectly honest, after uh, a really amazing day, um, but a very very busy and tiring day. So let's have a lovely chat to everyone in camp and finish up any conversation trees that we need to have, and uh, then I might call it a night. Uh, lovely Nia. There's another way to get my attention in chat. Just don't don't go oi. It's it's kind of rude. Um, but yes, what is it? Tell me more about your relationship with Gortash. He got his claws into me early. I was a wild kid, brawling my way through the city. One of my mates got wind of a bit of work guarding some indoorsy type with lots of enemies. Seemed like easy money, so I went in for it. He took one look at me and said I was perfect. I like that. Not like that, you know. Just... It felt like a good fit. I kept him safe and he paid me well. Well enough to move into a better neighborhood and put something away for the future. My future. I respected him. Trusted him. And he returned that trust, that respect. His life was in my hands, and I took that seriously. The whole thing with Zauriel happened so fast. I had no idea what had gone down until it was over. 
One minute I was in Baldur's Gate, a happy, healthy, not quite kid. The next, I was burning up in a Vernus with an engine for a heart. Zariel laughed, said she paid him well for my services. She'd wanted to test her new machine, and he said I'd be able to handle it. He was right. Sometimes I wish he weren't. Evil, evil bastard. Oh, baby. Yeah, lovely Nia. I, I'm gonna find Orna Kasserat, okay? Um, I'm not sure if you're trying to do like a roleplay thing in chat, and but I don't do that in my chat, so... If you're playing the game, then absolutely roleplay it to your heart's content, but... No, I don't engage with roleplay with chat unless I'm doing like a pick my voice and answering questions. Inconceivable that we would seek release from one tadpole only for you to commune with another. I chide you if my mind were not consumed by the sight of the fell Prince Orpheus within his domed prison. But make no mistake, I can see the change in you, feel the parasite worming its way through you even further. You have invited your own misery. I will not break our alliance for it. But I will not condone it. Fair enough. I'd like to talk about Orpheus. What about him? You say Orpheus is an illithid thrall, yet he seems disgusted by us. I'm embarrassed you'd fall for such an obvious trick. You probably believe the illithid swaddle about Vlakith usurping Gith's throne as well. The astral prison contains not one, but two atrocities. They will use you and abuse you at every opportunity. There is one truth, Vlakith's truth. Everything else is apostasy. Why did Vlacketh keep Orpheus alive all those millennia ago? As loathsome as it is, the Emperor slipped one fact into its slurry of lies. Orpheus can disrupt a geish hive mind. One talent of many that drove the Illithids to enthrall him. The Prince is a powerful shield and a powerful weapon. Vlacketh was no fool. Why destroy a weapon like that when you can contain it in a relic and keep it for yourself? Okay, uh, Sam or one of the moderators, would you mind timing out, Naya? Just because I've said I don't do roleplay and they're continuing to do so, so just time them out for a little bit, please. Why would Vlacketh want Orpheus dead now if he's so valuable alive? A weapon is only an asset for as long as it isn't pointed at you. The means of the Githyanki people's end has been ripped from the venerable queen. Better to kill Orpheus than to risk the enemy wielding his power, whether that enemy be Geish or the Dead Three. Who were the hostile Githyanki in the prison? Orpheus is honor guard, loyal to the end, and trapped by Vlacketh in the same prism holding their prince, fruitlessly hacking at the sphere that contains him. So loyal. So beguiled, they were blind to his treason. The Honor Guard's deaths were inevitable, as is the death of their gay enthralled prince. Thanks for that, Sam. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now, okay, would it be wise to kill Orpheus? The Emperor is using his power to protect us. I know my mission. Nothing will turn me from it. Vlacketh has a plan, and she knows what part I must play. Vlacketh can't reward your loyalty if you're dead, or if the Absolute claims you. And she cannot reward me if I hand the Empire to the illithid thrall called Orpheus. Protocol 301. Neither death nor undeath may be a hindrance to Vlacketh's blessing. Vlacketh will know my unfaltering faith. 
Neither death nor the absolute will keep me from accomplishing my duty. God, Rosamond just looks so messed up. Fine with me. With all the veins in her arms and everything. Okay, I think we're good for now with that. Uh, who else do we want to talk to? We spoke to Karlak. Will, how have you been? It's been a while. Loyalty is one thing. Willful ignorance is another. I'd like to say I respect Lazelle's choice, but her faith has turned to fanaticism. Could it be true? Duke Stelmain, I allied with the Emperor. Mind flayers are like devils. They just sport tentacles rather than wings. Clever, manipulative, exploitative. The Emperor says he's a friend. I think we'd be fools to believe him. Or call me Maybe a clown. <laughs> Maybe Stelmain allied with a mind flayer and subjected the city to their political will. Or maybe he made an offer she couldn't refuse. Did you know Stelmain very well back in the day? I met her twice. The first time I was a boy of seven or eight at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. Chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmain was different. Even with the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim, I asked Father later. No, he said, a stroke survivor. Hmm. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. He questions his father's explanation. Any idea who could be behind the killing? I couldn't say. But think about this. My father was Tadpole. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, he must first sow chaos. A tyrant strategy, as father would say. These murders aren't random acts. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weaker for it. We're nearing the city. Are you excited to return? Reluctant? A little of both? Baldur's Gate is where I first raised a glass in toast at the tender age of 14, and got so tipsy from wine, I puked in Dillard Portier's bushes. It's where the flaming fist chased me after I'd stolen a peach from a cart in the wide. I got a good chewing out over it, too. It's where my father taught me to hold a rapier, to read books of law, to know right from wrong. It's been seven years since I left. It's no paradise, but it's home, and it's worth saving. And you? The city's yours, too, after all. How's it feel to be back? Saizaki, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome! From Dice to Blood, we're rolling from chaos to your epic tale. Well, thank you so very much for joining us tonight, Deathclaw. How's it going? Pull up some chairs, welcome everyone in. How's it going, guys? I hope you're having a great time. Uh, from the sounds of things, you are up to some RPG uh, shenanigans. Were you uh, playing a tabletop game, playing Baldur's Gate? What were you guys up to? I don't remember it, but I'm afraid of who might remember me. No one knows better than I do the deep shadows haunting Baldur's Gate. But I also know you can find the light if you know where to look. And this I promise, you can always look to me. Oh, that loyalty is really displaced, Will. Um, we're playing Baldur's Gate 3 with dice rolls deciding all dialogue. Saizaki, that sounds amazing. And I can only begin to imagine the level of chaos that that is unleashed. <laughs> All right, Astarian, darling, how have you been? My sweet, conflicted villain. What can I do for you? That is a hell of a pet name, and I love it. Are you worried about Kazador finding out you're back? I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, 
He's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. And how will you strike exactly? He won't be alone. <laughs> Neither will I, darling. At least I hope you'll come along for the show. But regardless, the plan is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. <sighs> and if I can seize that almighty power for myself, well... All the better. Oh, fuck yes. Yes, please and thank you. It's very chaotic and murdery. You don't notice how many conversations have an attack option until the dice pick it every time. <laughs> oh my god, hell yes. Um, I'm curious then, has it... Have you tried to go in with any expectations or hopes of, like, romancing different characters go down particular routes and the dice gods have been like, NOT TODAY! <laughs> I wanted to ask about Kazador's ritual. You must be thinking about it. The thing that will decide my fate forevermore. Yes, it's been on my mind. Why? All that power. You must be tempted to take it for yourself. Well, of course I've thought about it. If I completed the ritual instead of Kazador, I'd get all that power. And I could walk in the sun without fear I'd turn into a mind flare. Naturally, who wouldn't be tempted? Of course, I don't even know if I could complete the ritual. It may be impossible, but it certainly is tempting. Okay. The dice gods are seemingly determined to make it a solo run. Oh no, <laughs> I'm so sorry. So, Blazel remains loyal to her queen. She's consistent, I'll give her that. I finished Act 2 today and we've only got Will, Gale, Astarian and Shadowheart in our camp. Oh no. Okay, I'm, I don't know whether to say I'm so sorry or that sounds amazing for just a complete chaos run. Hell yes. You mentioned Sharon's might be watching for us. You want to find them? I do. The Mother Superior will have ordered them to keep watch for my return. Find one and we discover what comes next. What should we be looking for? Worms Crossing is a choke point. If I wanted to intercept a new arrival, I'd find somewhere before the bridge, blend in amongst the crowds, and wait. Most people seeking entry to the city will be refugees. I'd look wherever they're gathering. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's talk to Gale and then Minthara. Because things have been a bit quiet with Gale. Who knew Vlakith and Mistra would have so much in common? Both set on flinging their followers towards destruction without so much as deigning to justify it. Lazel's devotion is impressive, but if she's not careful, it will be fatal. Gods consider mortals like us a cheap token to trade in for their desired outcomes. At least in my experience. Hey, JJ, things are going great tonight. Uh, we did the uh, stuff with the carnival in Act uh, Act Three, and now we're just having a little powwow with our companions before settling in for the night. And then we might be easing into wrapping things up because I'm going to have a bit of an early night tonight. It's a really fun way of playing, but there are so many plot lines where my character is just picking the leave option, and I'm like, well, I guess we're not doing that side quest then. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Nothing new Gale has to say for now. Thara, darling. The Gith God Queen is dreadful to behold. I understand now why Lazel admires her. You're on edge. Oren's influence, I assume. I am not on edge. I am alert, as you should be too. Oren could be anywhere. Could be anyone. 
Despite her protestations to the contrary, it is clear that Minthara is afraid. Oh, Saizaki, thank you so much for the follow. And thank you again so much for the raid. I really, really appreciate it. It's okay to be afraid. Given Oren's powers, it would be madness, it would be madness not to be. It's okay, Minthara. Don't fear a nasty little dagger when you have a bigger knife at your side. If you sense my fear, be sure that she does too. It is her greatest weapon. She has the scent of our blood, and she will tease and toy until she tires of the hunt. Then she will obliterate us without a second thought. She had me in her clutches once before. Promise that you won't let it happen again. I promise. Thank you. Together, we will survive her. Oh, Rosamond's so manipulative. Okay, um... Hmm. Why is it only showing that, those two options? Surely that was like the final point of that conversation. And you don't need my promise, you can protect yourself? Against Orin. I have my doubts. We need to watch over each other. Now, more than ever. Okay, there we go. That was weird. I'm curious about Menza Baranzin. Tell me about your home. From the still, dark waters of Lake Donegarten to the black academies of Tearbresh, it is a city of wonders and terror. But it is not my home anymore. If I were to return, I would be denied all of its wonders and shown only the terror. What was your life like there? I am a daughter of Menza Baranzan's most ancient and powerful house, the Bainry. I lived a life of privilege and danger. My home was at the tallest point of Kuel Azol, the place of the nobles, a plateau high above the city's sprawl. I enjoyed every luxury, whether harvested in the Underdark or stolen from the surface, and I survived my first assassination attempt while I still suckled at my mother's breast. I tasted her blood that day. She covered my body with her own, and a blade bit deep into her chest, almost puncturing her heart. When I came of age, she tried to take my life herself. And I gave her fresh scars to match those she earned protecting me. Holy shit. Is she still alive? I expect so. If the world were to end, I think my mother would survive to rule over the ruins. Clearly she hasn't met me then. <laughs> A dangerous upbringing. It made you strong. Yes. My house trained me to be a soldier in Loth's service. And my mother showed me how to survive the perils of society. She taught me to be resilient and to guard my heart from those who cannot be trusted. Literally and figuratively. When I choose to let somebody close, I do not do so lightly. That gives a great depth of meaning to the bonds I do share. Oh, you're going to come to regret that decision, Minthara. I can tell. Is this your first time in Baldur's Gate? Yes. I only know it through history books and hearsay. A city of murder and grief. It is already living up to the legend. Can I kiss you? I am yours. Come to me. Kiss. Kiss. Yes! Now that is a kiss. I don't care that you look disgusting covered by toxic black veins and have a monstrous illithid parasite in your head. You are beautiful. Thank you. My gruesome bloody lover. Kiss, 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 kiss. I think Halson has straight up left the fucking camp because we didn't do the Shadowlands 
We didn't heal the Shadowlands, so I think he stayed behind. Holy shit. Okay, let's have a long rest and then we'll call it a night. Just bracing myself in case something happens. Tonight, you are the monster everyone claims you are. Oh. Oh shit, okay. Rosamond. Triumph after triumph. You have excelled in base villainy. For she who fights with monsters should look to it that she herself becomes a monster. Yes. When you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. Yes. You have reached the time of majority, and you shall come into your birthright. But another seeks to disinherit you. Do not let her be your death. Your father loves you. You already made us so proud. Slaughter your lie. Become the last of you. Lord Baal shall have but one chosen. Oh, fuck yes. Yes! Nice blood back. Snatches of your story written in the blood of a thousand victims. Years spent in worship of Baal, leading his savage congregation in prayer, sacrifice, and slaughter. You were their master, and he was yours. A cruel master, a dread lord, a devoted father. All is greater than you could have dreamed. You are a spawn of Baal, his heir, his scion. I revel in the memories of murder. The cruelty of the Slayer leaps around within. You are not the last of your name. Not yet. There is another. The abomination wrapped in flesh you saw in the colony. Orin, dear sister, must die by your hand. An offering in Baal's sanctum. Your heart pines for the love of your lord. Today is a wonderful day for murder. Yes. Yes! Hey, Kasukitsune! Oh, you joined us at a hell of a moment. It is our destiny. I think we're probably going to go after Gortash first and save Orin for last really just savor it okay let's just get into the main center of camp actually no we're gonna have to um go to our bed rolls to get back to where we were in uh worms crossing so let's wrap things up for tonight because i am eb had a very long day a very cool day uh but a very tiring day so let's wrap things up let's do a quick save everything and now we have everything we need to get across the bridge and okay I, I also plan on visiting Shares's caress as well and seeing what delights are there as well for us which could be very interesting alrighty you definitely got further than me in Baldur's Gate oh just a heads up uh, anyone who hasn't played Baldur's Gate 3 before we're like right in the like the starting point of act three so spoilers abound for everything that's come before as well so if you do want to like play this game on uh like for your own enjoyment first and not get any spoilers uh kitsune then absolutely go play it first and then come join us <laughs> um but thank you so much for joining me tonight my lovelies this was wonderful the carnival is such a great moment uh in this game and so much fun but i'm very excited to get to uh, Baldur's Gate proper. 
um, and uh, get to see all the horrors that we are going to unleash within it. And also to take Rosamond shopping because I want to get her a new leisure outfit as well, something more appropriate for the dark monster that she has become. So thank you so much for joining me tonight, my lovelies. I really, really appreciate you guys taking some time out of your Friday to join me for more Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I'm going to make an announcement probably tomorrow, uh, just a heads up that I'm probably going to take next honestly the next two weeks off streaming um because i'm going to be doing a um stage combat certificate so it'll be a full day of uh stage combat um training so by the time i get home in the evening i'm just going to be wiped out and it's over the course of like a week but it's like in the middle starting the middle of next week and ending the middle of next week so it's kind of slightly awkward timing um so i'm probably going to take the next two weeks off streaming which I know it hurts but then we can just return um in uh August uh back to my regular schedule for a little bit um and yes then we'll see how things go but thank you so much for joining me tonight my lovelies I will see you in a few weeks to continue with Baldur's Gate 3 as well as I need to pick some more uh, another spooky game to play for my macabre Monday stream and we have to continue tavern talk as well um, But thank you so much for joining me tonight my lovelies I hope you all have an amazing weekend and if you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far Please consider following we would love to have you back at the blue rose respite you are welcome anytime Be sure to check out my other socials that are popping up in the chat right now Including my two YouTube channels one for my ASMR tales and the other for my twitch vods and my Twitter my insta and my TikTok. I have an ongoing 24 7 broadcast over on my main YouTube channel Which is a uh, collection of ASMR tales and creepypasta narrations So if you like the sound of my voice find it soothing and relaxing or thrilling and you want some to listen to while you paint or study or fall asleep to then be sure to check that out and give it some love weaver of passion thank you so much for the 25 bits here's to steph making more progress in her v va and mocap career and here's before the end of the night hell yes thank you so much weaver i really really appreciate it thank you all righty so let's see who's currently streaming and we can go say hello let's see Hmm. You know what? We haven't raided Neil in a while. Let's go over and say hi to Neil Newborn. Because he is amazing. I can't wait to hopefully one day work with him on a motion capture or performance capture project. And that feels like an appropriate person to raid uh, to celebrate tonight and this amazing day all together. So thank you so much for joining me tonight, my lovelies. I will see you in a few weeks back here on Twitch. I have a new ASMR tale coming out tomorrow that I hope you all enjoy. And I hope you all have an amazing weekend. Remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And as always, stay wicked and wonderful. Good night, my lovelies.